Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Did you know that our spy team is sending out missions to your parents' email? Yeah, so ask your parents to go to heymrjim.com. Get on our email list so that we can send you communication directly from HQ. Yes, real challenges and missions for you to complete from the spy team. Are you guys ready for today's amazing imaginative adventure? Oh, I definitely am. Let's go. It was a beautiful day as Carter and his family were getting ready to head to the beach. Carter, make sure you grab all your sand toys, said his parents. Oh, I already got them right here. Carter was holding a big beach bag that was filled all the way to the top and even overflowing with buckets and shovels and scoopers and trucks, all kinds of things to make an amazing sand city. Everybody loaded up in the car and off they drove. While they were driving to the beach, Carter was sure to put on his sunblock on his arms and his legs and his face just to protect him from that very hot beach sun. As he closed his eyes and rubbed it on his forehead and his cheeks, he heard his parents say, All right, Carter, we're here. We're here already? Oh, I can't open my eyes yet, but okay, that's super awesome. As he took his hands off of his face and was able to open his eyes, he couldn't believe it. They were already at the beach. He grabbed all of his beach gear, jumped out of the car, and ran to the beach. This was one of his favorite things to do. But today, something would happen that had never happened before. Something that would make this one of the most unforgettable days of Carter's life. The first thing that Carter did at the beach was run and splash into the waves. He watched as all these tiny little fish swam and even jumped through the waves. He tried to chase them and catch them, but they were much too fast. All right, I'm going to catch one, said Carter. I just got to dive. All right, maybe a bucket. Yeah, a bucket will help. He ran back to his beach bag and grabbed a bucket. And there it was, a whole school of fish right on the shore. Ready, set, now. Oh, splash. He dove into the water with the bucket and looked inside and it was empty. All the fish swam away. Ah, man, they're always so fast. All right, back to sandcastle building. He grabbed a shovel and started to dig a hole and fill up all the buckets with sand. He knew exactly what was the right kind of sand to build sandcastles with. You don't want it too dry or too wet. You kind of want it perfectly in the middle for it to hold the, the mold of the bucket when you turn it upside down and pull off the bucket. He filled up each of his buckets and flipped them over to begin his amazing sandcastle. You should have seen it. After only about 10 minutes, Carter had built an amazing sandcastle. It was getting taller and taller with each bucket that he poured on top of it. But then, all of a sudden, Carter! Hey, Carter, I need your help getting something out of the car! shouted one of his parents. Okay, I'll be right there! Carter dropped his buckets and ran toward the car to help his family carry uh, a whole bunch of really heavy big chairs. (sighs) <sighs> okay, I'm here. Ooh, that sand is hot on my feet. Ouch. Here, can you carry these chairs for me? I'm going to grab the big heavy cooler, said one of his parents. Yep, I got him. Carter put the two chairs over his shoulders and started walking back towards their spot on the beach. Ow, 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 ow. With each step, that burning sand was very hot on his toes. He hadn't realized the first time how hot the sand was when he ran from the car all the way to the waves. But now, the second time across, ooh, it's very hot. But he only made it about halfway back through the beach when he saw his sandcastle come alive. He first felt the ground shake, and then that sound. A sound that he'd never heard before but it echoed through the waves. As the ground shook and that growl poured out from the ground, he saw it. 
his sandcastle jumped out from the sand and started getting bigger and bigger. Ah! Uh, shouted Carter. Everybody run! It's a sandcastle monster! Everybody who was on the beach froze and turned to look at Carter. He was pointing towards where his sandcastle had previously been, which it was now getting bigger and bigger. Ah! Ah! <laughs> People started screaming from all over the beach. <laughs> they had never seen a sandcastle monster before, and neither have I. Have you? Have any of your sandcastles ever come alive like that before? Yeah, it's never happened to Carter either. But he knew exactly how to handle it. Okay, we're going to need some buckets of water. Everybody, grab buckets of water fast. Carter's tried to run over to where his buckets were, but they were very close to the sandcastle monster who saw Carter coming. <laughs> Its mouth was comprised of shovels and scoopers and all of Carter's sand toys. Uh, the buckets were now his eyebrows, shovels for arms. The mouth were these two little grabbers on the beach. And oh dear, it's getting bigger and bigger. It's like it was sucking up the sand inside of it. And it was getting taller and taller. Carter didn't have any more buckets to fill with water. He thought that maybe you could fill the buckets with water and throw it on the sandcastle monster and it might melt the sandcastle monster. But what is he going to do if he doesn't have any buckets? He started to look around. He was running out of time. He saw a family far down the beach that had some buckets that they were building a sandcastle too. And it was starting to come alive as well. Don't do it! He shouted. He started running down the beach as fast as he could towards those kids that were building another sandcastle. Knock it over! Fast! Carter dove and knocked the sandcastle over with his hands. The two kids didn't understand what he was doing and first got very mad at him. Hey, why'd you knock our sandcastle over? <sighs> no, you gotta, you gotta help me. My sandcastle came alive and I think yours was next. Look over there! Carter turned and looked and pointed his finger towards the sandcastle monster. That is when those kids saw how terrible it was. Ah! What do we do? They shouted. Can we use your buckets and fill with water? I think if we throw water on the sandcastle monster, it might destroy it for good. But I'm going to need your help. Okay! Yeah, we'll help you! They shouted. Carter and his two new friends filled up their buckets with water. Okay, we gotta run back as fast as we can. Come on, said Carter. They started running back towards the sandcastle monster, who was now ginormous, almost the size of a car. Okay, on the count of three, throw your water. One, two, three. Whoa, splash. And just like that. <laughs> The sand castle monster melted on the beach. <sighs> Thanks for helping me, said Carter. Oh, you're welcome. That was... I've never seen that happen before. As Carter and his two new friends stood triumphantly over that sand castle monster that they had just destroyed, everybody on the beach started to cheer them on. Yeah! You saved us! Everybody was so happy they bought Carter and his friends some ice cream from the local ice cream store as a way of thank you for saving the day. <laughs> wow, that may be the end of this story, but it is only just the beginning of Carter's amazing beach adventures that lie ahead. The end. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Braxton and Kinley from Kentucky, Jed, Sammy, and Teddy from California, Nico from Saskatchewan, Titus from Australia, Benjamin from Florida, Valentina from Texas, Henry from Los Angeles, 
and Williard, Wesley, and Eddie from Alaska. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family. And on the spy team, we could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day. I'll see you next time. Bye.